So hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is a nice quick and easy one. I'm going to be showing you how to add this fabulous scalloped border to any size of granny square. So this is a lovely simple border. You can add it to a blanket for a nice finishing touch. If you like to practice your granny squares using cotton, you could add this border and make a nice washcloth, which would make a nice gift. Also, it's just a very simple way of turning a normal granny square into maybe a coaster. So you could make them in coordinating colors to your room, put them on a windowsill and put a pot plant on them. Um, I have here made um, a, an autumnal style one, so I've done sunflower colours and also you could do a festive colours. So that would be nice, maybe give us a gift with a candle on the top. So it's just a nice way of turning a normal granny square into something a little more special. So here we so go. For this tutorial, I have already made up my granny square. Um, now I am using, for those of you that like to know, I am using Starcraft Special Decay. Now this darker sort of orangey colour is their tomato and this peachy colour in the middle is the vintage peach. So that's just a double knit weight and I'm going to be using my Clover Amour um, hook number four. Okay, so if I just show you on this example here, the border is made up of two rounds. So as I'm using this tomato, the first round out of your border is literally just done the same as your granny square. So I've already put round one of the border on by um, following the granny square tutorial. Now, if you don't know how to do the granny square, I do have a link below where I do do um, just the standard granny square. So I will pop that link down below on this video. So I'm just um, coming round to finish off my round one of the border and I am going to slip stitch as we normally do just to close up that round. Okay, but what I want to do, I want to start my border, my scalloped edge part of the border in this corner here. So all I'm going to do, because we're not changing colour, is do a couple of slip stitches across. So you're using the top of those stitches from the round before. I'm just gonna slip stitch, that's twice, and then I am going to slip stitch into that corner as well. Okay, and then we are ready to start. So we're going to start by doing a chain three up. Now this is going to count as one treble crochet. If you use US terminology, that's going to be one double crochet. Okay, so we're now going to put a further five trebles in this corner space. So remember it's yarn over first, push through, grab that yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through two, and pull through two. So you should know your trebles by now. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. But then if we count, this chain three up counted as one treble, so we will in fact at the moment have six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six trebles in that corner space. Now we won't finish this corner until we come back round and join. But this is going to be the start of our scalloped edge. Now, if I show you, I'm gonna take my hook out just for a moment these three trebles from the round before, you may have to just tug and pull your stitches to the right so that you can see the top of those stitches. 
we want to work in that middle stitch okay so you've got one two three we're going to work in the top of that stitch there so in the top of that v stitch all we're going to do to bring the scallop scalloped edge down is just do a simple slip stitch okay so that's pulling through and the one that is on your hook and if you can see there you've got this nice curve then what we're going to do is jump to this next space here and we're going to put in five trebles so that's one two three four and five okay and again we're just going to have a look so we've got one two and three stitches up now as I said just a moment ago if you just cinch these across you need to make sure you see that first V at the top of that stitch we're going to go to the second one along and just do a slip stitch okay and if I show you we have another scallop there so this is nice and simple this is what we're going to do all the way along in these spaces we're going to do five trebles so I'll show you one more time so it's one, whoops, <laughs> two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then we need to bring that scallop down. So we have one, two, three V stitches along the top. I'm going to go in that second one along and do a slip stitch. So if you just carry along, um, it's slightly different in the corner. So I've got these two spaces. So it's going to be five trebles, slip stitch, five trebles and a slip stitch. And I will meet you in this corner. So I've just done my slip stitch to bring that scallop down. Now in the corner we're just going to do a couple more. So we're going to put seven trebles in this corner. So it's one, two, six and seven. Okay, so that takes us around the corner. So literally all the way along here we are going to do exactly the same. We are going to do our slip stitches in the, in the top of that second treble across and along the side we are going to do five trebles in each space. Make sure you do seven in the corner all the way around. And then I will meet you back here just to finish off. So I've gone all the way around, um, making sure you remember to put your seven in the corners and um, five trebles in the side spaces. Now we're just getting to um, where I just bring that scallop down. Now on the, this um, previous round we slip stitched across so um, sometimes it makes the top of that stitch a little bit harder to put your hook through so what I tend to do is get my darning needle and just help make that hole a little bit bigger before I put my hook through so that's just slip stitching on that final scallop of the edge. Now, if you remember in this first corner, we only had six trebles. So that was our chain of three and five normal trebles. So we're just going to do one more treble in that corner so that that matches up with our other corners. And then at the top of our original chain three up, one, two and three. 
I'm going to do a slip stitch to join that round. Oops. And then like I do with my um, normal granny squares, I'm actually going to do a slip stitch in the stitch to the left of that one as well. It just for me makes it a bit more solid. There we go. And then to fasten off, we are going to do chain one. Then we are going to cut our yarn, leave enough to sew in a nice end. Pull your hook out and cinch that knot down as best you can. Now I tend to take my darning needle and then go down here, the next V to the left, or I'll show you actually. And then what I like to do is do my um, hiding the ends on the back. So if I just show you, so the next V to the left, just take that yarn down, pull that nicely, okay, and then that keeps that nice scalloped look to that corner as well. And then all I need to do now is just sew in my end. So there you go, quite simple and effective. I think that will make a lovely, lovely border to any cloth or blanket or whatever you would like to do with them. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. Um, do subscribe to my channel and I will see you here again next time. Bye bye for now.